The Minister of Information and Culture, Lea Mohammed, has said that the legacy of President Mamadou Buhari's administration is not only in the provision of critical infrastructure, but cuts across other areas of development and social investment. Alhaji Lea Mohammed boasted that Buhari has delivered effectively in every sector of the economy and stabilized the security situation of the country. A lot of things have happened in the polity, but the most significant has been naysayers and the opposition trying to distort the achievements of President Muhammad Buhari for their own selfish ends. While some of the administration's fiercest critics said we have achieved nothing, others have admitted those seemingly tongue in cheek that it's only in the area of infrastructure that the administration has performed. Well, I want to say that both groups are wrong very wrong. Yes, infrastructure development under the Buhari administration is unprecedented since the nations returned to democratic rule in 1999, and it has set the country on the path of development. But no, our legacy is more than in infrastructure. The Buhari administration is leaving a legacy of a social investment program that is unprecedented in the whole of Africa, a program that has enhanced the quality of life of the beneficiaries. Our base setting social investment programs like Empower, School Feeding, Conditional Cash Transfer, and GEP, that's Government Enterprise Empowerment Program, have benefited millions of our citizens, both young and old, and this can neither be trivialized no denied. The Boy administration is leaving a legacy of putting Nigeria on the path of self-sufficiency in many staples, including rice. According to him, every state in Nigeria has benefited massively from the administration's program in one way or another. The Boy administration is leaving a legacy of leapfrogging Nigeria into the digital era. President Muhammad Buhari has signed into law the start-up bill to make Nigeria a global hub for digital talents and investment. Nigeria has also started the national rollout of 5G while increasing 4G base station. From 13,823 in 2019 to 36,751 today, Nigeria's digital economy has generated 5.4% of revenue target above the 2019 baseline. The country's fiber optic cable network has grown from 15,000 kilometers in 2015 to over 60,000 kilometers in 2022. And the country's new SIM integration has enhanced the integrity of the national identification number database. The Boyer administration is leaving a legacy of property some critics say, oh, they say they are fighting corruption and some public officers have stolen money under their nose. We can say the fact that they were caught and are being tried is a reflection of our zero tolerance for corruption. Norma Major.